Guys, we are making a new pool pond. Look at the bass. Look at the large mouth. Oh my gosh, you're huge. Hey, it was Gucci Raw fam. If you guys look in the shadow, we have a huge 16 foot pool pond right over there. And today is gonna be a maintenance day. It's long overdue. My tank is looking disgusting. My, my big old pool pond, it's 16 foot. We have a huge, like, I don't know, like a five, six pound bass that just comes out of the water. He's crazy. But we're gonna take all of our fish from that beautiful pond right over there. And we're gonna, we're gonna set up this beautiful little, uh, this little mini pond today. And uh, it's gonna be pretty epic. Let's go look at it. So I was pretty uh, skeptical about setting up this pond, but it looks pretty good and it looks durable. If you guys go look over at my pond, we have these huge metal stakes and I reinforced it with these beautiful, what are these, two by fours? Yeah, beautiful little two by fours that are staked right into the ground. So you literally can't move it. That little flimsy thing way the heck over there, boom, is just temporarily for the day. And uh, if you guys look at the bottom, bleh. It looks very dirty from this tree that we're going to cut down. Um, there, these little berries, you guys see this? Uh, I don't know what these things are called, but they fall right into the water and then they go bad. And then if you can see down there, there's kind of like a couple down there. They're all over the pond and the koi don't eat them. So there's no need for them. I mean, there's just so many falling leaves. It's horrible. Long story short, we got a cover for this pool pond, this huge, beautiful, big old pool pond. And we got this beautiful little mini pond. So we're gonna set this bad boy up. So what I actually did here is I took this beautiful little pond. Um, it was super cheap. And uh, I just kind of stacked it on itself, as you guys can see right there. Like I, I, I went and there is a little seam right here. You see the seam? And I kind of just did that and I, I matched the seam with this little part all the way around. So before we fill up this beautiful little pond all the way up, we have this prime. And uh, what I wanna do is look up on the box and see how many gallons, 639 gallons of water. So this awesome little prime here, uh, what this prime actually uh, says, so every capful is 50 gallons. I put three capfuls so far. To be safe, I think I'm gonna add 12 more capfuls. Um, every three is 150 gallons. Um, you times that by four. And uh, there you go. So we got this little, little guy right here. Make sure you guys shake this stuff pretty good. There you go. That's one right there. And I'm just gonna do that a bunch more times. All right, guys, there we go. We put our 12 little uh, capfuls of this prime. The water should be A-OK, -okay, almost fish friendly. We're gonna wait about four hours, add some beneficial bacteria, and uh, we should be good to go. So what is beneficial bacteria? Beneficial bacteria, you can get it in a big bottle like this, and it's just essential bacteria that helps keep the slime coat on the fish, and it's just very healthy for the fish. So you wanna add um, this right here, treats an acre uh, we only need a couple capfuls for this small little mini pond um, I'm just gonna eyeball it I've used this stuff on my my huge pond right there this is a little tricks of the trade that should be good and that is like one and a half of those little uh, few bowls that you could buy at the pet store so this little pond is looking so epic. It is so big. It has a little bit more filling up to do, but for the most part, it is absolutely perfect. It's exactly, it's exactly what I expected it to be. It took a lot longer than I expected because you see this little, pot, little spot right here? It has a little cap on the inside right there. And I had two of them clogged up, one and two, but there was a third one and I was like, oh, why the heck is this uh, 
spilling water and I didn't cap off the, the last one. I didn't see it, I didn't know. So I just got that little thing out of the box. It should be done in no time. The fish are gonna absolutely love it. The koi are absolutely gonna love it. The koi are gonna love it more than anything because this little pool, it's gonna get nice and cold. And I, I might actually leave the koi in there for a couple more days after this, just so I could feed them like up close and personal. Like they're so cute. Like I'm definitely gonna leave this up for a couple of days and, and play with my fish because my little koi is gonna be right here. They're gonna be so happy. So it is finally time. We have this beautiful little pool pond. Look, this beautiful little water. Uh, we're gonna let this sit for about four hours. It's like midday, it's like 12 o'clock. Uh, we're gonna let it sit for four hours and then we're gonna grab the fish and throw them in there. It's epic. As you guys can see, the pond is black. It is nasty. Um, I let it get like that because um, it just, it, it, it's time for a cleaning. It, it's a lot darker than it usually is, but I haven't been taking care of it the past couple of days because I know I'm gonna do a huge clean out right now uh, for it. I haven't cleaned the filters or any of that stuff. So it's gonna be super epic. We got some, some giant bass inside of this little pool pond. Um, they're gonna be inside that little pond too with them. They're gonna be epic and uh, you'll be along. We're also gonna trim this tree. Guys, I was all by myself. It was just me and my mom. Yes, I know that that, that goes against itself, but basically I was by myself um, with just common knowledge about all these fish and um, knowing what to do if, if one of the fish turns for the worst. All these fish are actually doing great. I put them in here probably about 10 minutes ago. I just rushed all the fish over here. Let me show you guys what's up. The biggest thing is that the fish are A-OK -okay and that we, we get that, that big pool pond ready to go back for all these, for all my pond monsters. These things, these things are gonna be huge soon. And in, in a couple of years, look at, look at that. <laughs> look at the, the catfish right there. Getting um, Cash his own pond, like a little eight footer right over there. My koi, he's been in here all of five minutes. He's already coming up, he's already eating. Look at the bass, look at the large mouth. Oh my gosh, you're huge. Look at my little Paco, they're a little beat up. I'm gonna go get the food real quick, see if all of my guys, see if they'll eat. Um, I'm hoping my catfish will eat. I'm hoping my Paco will eat. I mean, he's he's my he's my pride and joy. I mean, I know Cash is, Cat, Cash the bass is amazing, but I, I really do love my Paco like so much. Guys, I wanna hear you guys in the comment section. What is your top three fish for my pond for a shout out guys. So um, my order is obviously cash. Then we got the red tail, then we got the Paku. So let me know in the comment section what you guys, uh, what is your favorite fish from my pond? I know that would be my, my normal response. I'm sorry guys, but it's the same order in how much I love them, but Goldie is my favorite fish because she bonds with me and she's, she's my buddy. I'm not sure if it's a female or a male, but Goldie is, She's legit. She's awesome. I love her so much because she comes up and she sucks on my finger. It's so epic. So basically, if you guys are going to, to do water changes and different stuff, make sure the, the water that you guys are putting these fish into is A-OK. -okay. Make sure that they're good. If you have to start over with new water, make sure that you... Oh my God, my glasses are filthy. Look how dirty they are. Ugh. Just make sure that the water has beneficial bacteria and make sure you put water conditioner four hours before. I did that water dish conditioner yesterday. Put the beneficial bacteria in there. Always when you do water changes, remember bubblers right there are very essential for this. All right, Raw Fam, so that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful little pool pond. I love y'all, Raw Fam, and I will see you later. Peace! I was just talking to y'all and look at this. Somebody likes this little pool pond. <laughs> you wanna see what happens when we flick this little guy in there? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, he's gone. Where is he? Hold up, I can't see, it's blurry. Okay, here we go. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's way over there. Oh, the koi ate him. No, I'm kidding. That'd be pretty funny, though. What's up, everybody? These are my beautiful babies. 
Welcome to the new pool pond, guys. I love you guys. Guys, look at my beautiful big old babies. Welcome to the new... The, these are my... That is my huge six pound largemouth bass. There's my beautiful little kois. What's up, guys? Welcome to the pool pond. 